It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's awkward Tuesday phone call. Gabriella is on the phone today to do an awkward Tuesday phone call, and she's dealing with something that I am way too familiar with. Uh oh. Uh, a ton of dating options. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know you guys don't really understand because you don't have a lot of options. Yeah, but thanks, so. Man, it's tough, you know, when everybody wants a piece of you. Yeah, oh, it's just overwhelming. God. And how do you choose? And who do you go with? Oh, and there's god. just not enough of me to go around. <laughs> such a hard life. Gabriella, I feel your pain. It's tough. It is really tough. Thank you for understanding my pain and my yeah. struggle. You know, you get it. No I bet problem. It's, so, it's probably just as hard to have so much humility, too, about it. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yes. Yes, yeah. it is. It's, it's <laughs> tough to be humble when everything's so great, okay, you know? Stop. <laughs> All right, Gabriella, you said that you are having an issue, though, on the dating scene. What is it? Uh, well, I was single for a long time, like years. And I wasn't really meeting anybody. I was casually dating. And uh-huh. I mean, sometimes you go out with some weirdos, but sometimes it's good guys. Okay. And would you say for the most part, you were happy about being single? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think anybody's okay. really happy being single. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you've been wanting to get into a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to find that somebody, you know. You just haven't found the right dude. Well... That's where my awkward question comes from. I might have found two. Whoa, girlfriend, okay. when it rains, oh. it pours, right? Dang. Yeah, <laughs> like the minute you stop looking. <laughs> How did you find two? How did you go from zero to two? Well, I got online and I met these two different guys and I was like, okay, let's just go out. Let's. I want to see what I like about you, what I like about you. Right. And I ended up liking a lot of things about both of them. I've been on like four or five dates with each of them. And okay. I'm starting to have feelings for both. All right. <laughs> oh my god, it's like an episode of The Bachelor right now. I know. <laughs> Who are you gonna give the rose to? Oh. Is it that, or is your awkward Tuesday phone call? You're gonna call both of them and be like, "Hey, can we all have a relationship?" <laughs> <laughs> You're into that. They can be my sister husband. Yeah. Or whatever. There you go. <laughs> all right. So, what do you want to do then with your awkward Tuesday phone call? I I can't be juggling these guys. Like, it's not my scene. It's not who I am. Uh-huh. And I think I need to pick one. I don't know, like, one is, like, a little funnier. He kind of just goes and lives life to the fullest. And, Uh I mean, he only has a part-time job, so he's not, like, the most stable. But he makes me want to live my life. But then the other guy, Kurt, he has a full-time job. You know, he's way more stable. But he's just a little predictable. Like, nothing is a surprise. Mm -hmm. We've been on five dates, and... We've basically done the same thing. So are you going to dump the boring guy and go with the loose cannon? (laughs) I think so, but I don't want to hurt him. He's such a sweet guy, and he doesn't deserve to be hurt, and I just I don't know how to do it. I feel like I don't know that you're making the right choice. If you're talking fun for now, loose cannon, always great. Mm -hmm. If you're talking longevity, are you sure you want to do that? Well, the first guy, Jason, he may be a bit of a project, but... Oh no! Smile. Oh, so no. you want to you want to change no. this dude? Don't do projects. Oh, Don't do it. Do. Run away. <laughs> he's so great though. Oh, Brooke, he's so great. I know. I've had a lot of projects. They were all great. <laughs> they all didn't last though. I I know, Brooke. But if I could just get him to change a few things, mm-hmm. it's like one or two mm-hmm. things. No, and... that is always no. a way to make a relationship work. <laughs> yeah, no. Is to start it by knowing that you want them to change. <laughs> I mean, unless it's like his shoe choice. Other than that, you can't get a man to change, okay? I don't know. I just think he's the one. Oh, okay. okay. So so you're going to go with this dude, and are you going to call the boring guy? What's his name again? Kirk? It's Kirk, but he's not boring. He's just less exciting. Like, yeah. I don't know. He's... His name is Kurt. Oh, I've, Kurt. I've never met a Kurt <laughs> that's exciting. On. So wait, who are we calling again? We're calling Kurt to dump him or we're calling Jason to... Well, I think we're calling Kurt to dump him and I don't know how to do it. Oh, okay. now, wait, yeah. real quickly. Does Kurt know that you've been dating Jason as well? No, oh, okay. neither of them know. Are you going to okay. tell him that? I don't know. Is that a good idea? Like, wouldn't that just hurt him? Yeah, it's good. probably information you don't need to let him know. I don't know if he has to know that. Or you could have a cage fight and see which one comes out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know. I just know that I need to do this now before it gets any messier, before somebody gets hurt. Are you sure? You've only been on like four or five dates with each of them. You could string this out for a year or two. <laughs> no, 
I'm don't listen positive. to Jubal. I don't, know, I don't know if I have the stamina for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll play a song, come back, and then you can dump boring Kurt right after this. He's not boring. Okay. <laughs> Dull Kurt. How about we call him that? All right. We'll do it right after this. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's awkward Tuesday phone call. If you're just tuning in for today's Awkward Tuesday phone call, Gabriella is on the phone, and today she needs to call Kurt. Oh, mm. Kurt. The boring dude that she's dating. Sorry, he's not boring. He's yes. a little more stable. She's <laughs> been dating two guys for a while now, and she's finally decided that she needs to stop dating two of them and just narrow it down to one. And one of them is like kind of more wild, fun dude, but he's not as stable as Kurt, who she's about to call and break up with. Oh. You know, Gabrielle, I was thinking about your situation, and for me, I've been through a lot of breakups, and I've had to break up with pretty much everybody, because for some reason, people don't leave me, even though they don't like me very much, which I don't understand. <laughs> but I've found that music really helps. You know, music? it helps people through things. Yeah, that's why when I break up with someone, I usually have a soundtrack ready to go. Oh. And I sit them down, really? and I say, hey, it's not working out. I think we need to go our separate ways. And then I hit play. <laughs> And then, as this plays, I just walk out. So, and I do it very slowly, wearing skinny <laughs> jeans, so they can get one last look at the goods before I exit the door. And they usually take a selfie so they can see themselves in the background as I'm wow. leaving. What a favor. And then I text that to them whenever they need to be reminded. Never forget. Yeah, that they are all by themselves. So, do you want me to play the song after you tell them that you don't want to be with them no. anymore? Or, okay. No. Thank you. That's okay. All right. Well, Gosh. it's here if you need it. Just call for it, okay? I'll remember. All right. I'm going to dial his phone number right now, and you can make your Awkward Tuesday phone call, okay? Okay. All right. Here we go. Hello? Hey, it's Gabriella. Hey, it's like weird. Your number came up. It's just like weird number. It didn't show up as yours. Oh. How are you? That's weird. I I'm good. Um, how are you doing? Much better now. Like, good to talk to you. Yeah. Me yeah. Um, yeah, What's I've been busy. How are you? Just, you know, uh, good. Yeah, just been busy. Super, super, super busy. I know. I haven't seen you in a few days. I know. I've just, I've just been crazy, you know, like just doing so much and haven't had time to really look at anything else, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm glad that you have a moment now. I mean, I'm happy to speak to you. What's going on? Um, I know this might sound a little weird, but are you seeing anybody else besides me? What? No, not at all. I mean, why do you ask? Uh, no, I was, I was just curious. Um, what? It's um. Yeah, no, no, no. I like. I think you're great. Like, I, you know, I have so much fun with you. I have. We have a great time when we go out. Like, I look forward to the next time I see you. Like, I, I have no reason to want to see other people. <laughs> uh, that's sweet. Um, I mean, are you seeing other people? Why, why are you asking? Well, um, I am actually seeing somebody else. I, I just, I met you both at the same time, and I was just seeing, you know. You know. I just don't think it's fair that I keep going out with two people, you know, like, no, I agree. I like, I, I just think I, it know, would be like, best to like end it, you know? Yeah, no, I, I, of course I think that's great. You do? I mean, I like, I definitely want to be like exclusive. I think that'd be great. Like that's the okay. best news that you don't want to like, go see this other guy. Um, no, Kurt, I actually, I was calling cause I think I need to end it with you. Actually, what? What me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I totally misunderstood what you were saying. I I thought you wanted to end it with him. I just don't think it's gonna work out. And um, yeah, did, like, did I like do something wrong? Like, if I did, no, I, I'm, like, so I'm, no, Kurt, you didn't do anything wrong. I just think that I have a stronger connection with this other guy I think I just need to pursue that and I never wanted to hurt you I mean like I kind of don't even know what to say like I'm sorry <laughs> but I'm really really sorry 
No, I mean, it just, like, I just feel really dumb. No, don't feel dumb. Please, Kurt, don't feel dumb. Like, this is not, this, you're not a bad guy. It's not, it's not like that at all. Well, can I just share something with you? I guess. I've been working on it already, and I was going to send it to you later on. So, like, give me one second. It's, uh, like, I have it written on my phone, so give me one second to pull it up. Um, okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Gabriella, I want to be your fella. I don't like you a little. I like you hella. I love your nose. I love your toes. Let's just see where this relationship goes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Beautiful so poem. Oh, wow. What? Hello? Oh, hey, what's up, Kurt? Oh, my God. How, how are you, man? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning. What's going on? What? Where's Gabriella? Oh, my She's God. She's still on the phone. I'm, I'm still here. Kurt, you are so cute. Hold on. We got, we got, who are these people? What's going on? <laughs> oh. You're on a radio show right now. It's called Brook and Jubal in the Morning. And Gabriella wanted to call you today to see how to let you down easy because she's interested in moving on with this other dude. But beautiful poem, man. Like, really heart-wrenching. Dude, you're making fun of him, but that that was so cute. It was. I would fall for that head over heels. Uh, so you called me to break up with me with the radio? No, Kurt, I just needed advice. I didn't know how. I, you're such an awesome guy, and I I loved the poem. I did. Like, I didn't, I had no idea that you even felt anything like that. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I didn't know how else to tell you, and, like, I'm clearly not the best poet. But, what? Like, <laughs> Come on, give yourself more credit than that. Oh, it was beautiful. Well, I mean, you guys are telling me how bad it is, and like... Dude, nobody said it was bad. Everybody said that it was beautiful. Yeah, you can yeah. sense Jubal's sarcasm. I hear you, but I really like it hella. I liked it hella. Like, I didn't know how else to say it. Like, well, it's just going to be like, I, you know, hey, I really like you. Like, that's boring. <laughs> Kurt, I really like, like you, I don't... too. I do. I don't... I just I feel like I need to think now. Gabriella, what? Now, now you're, you're trying to unbreak up with him? No, I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you mean you want to, like, reconsider and maybe not go through with, like, <laughs> dumping me? I just think that I need to think about some things now. Like, I had no idea you would even do something that sweet or special, and I just feel like I need a little time to think about what I'm doing. <gasps> I... Well, I mean, like, if you need time to, like, think about it, like, I totally understand. Like, you know how I feel. Yeah. And, like, you don't I, hate me I, after this? Like, it is weird, for sure. Like, I don't know, like, I don't have any, like, ability to make you date me or not date me. So, like, I, I totally understand. Oh, my God. But, like, I definitely want to, like, have a relationship with you. And if you just need a little more time to think about that or, like, understand where I'm coming from now, like, Take all the time you need. I, I like. I'll be happy to to wait for you. Yeah, he loves your toes and your nose. So <laughs> Gabriel, why he loves everything about you. It sounds like. <laughs> why do you need time? The answer is so obvious. It is like right there in front of your face. I don't know. You stay with Kurt, and you dump the guy that has the part time job. You dump that guy. No, no, don't like go easy on Gabriel. Don't put so much pressure on her. Like I want her to make the right choice for the right reasons, and not like feel pressured. Wow, man, oh. you're not only God, he's a heartthrob. Yeah, you're not only the next Shakespeare, but you're very understanding. Well, I mean, look, I want her to be with me clearly, but I want her to like figure it out for herself and uh, you know i think it's just the right thing to do it like obviously i like her and care about her a lot so Aww. that goes without saying oh okay well. i care about you too kurt I don't know, I do. Do you? she does she cares about him a lot she just needs mm. to care enough listen to your heart gabriella yeah but you know they just take some time but like i prefer like to know sooner <laughs> rather than later and <laughs> Just so, like, I know, like, what to do about my feelings and if I should just try to move on or, you know, hold out hope that we can be together. <gasps> okay. Thank you. I just need a little bit of time. Oh, man. Oh, Gabriella. <laughs> oh, I wanted oh. to 
fuck him. I just want to take you out to some drinks, sit down girl to girl, mm. make you make the right decision right now. Well, let's go, Brooke. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to do it. Okay. So how long are you going to wait, Gabriella? I don't know, but I know I'll make it quickly. And I promise I'm not going to go out with either of you until I make the decision. That wouldn't be fair. Oh I promise, God. Kurt. Okay. Uh, well, like, you know who I'm pulling for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I think we do. I think you guys should be together because this is honestly the most sane conversation about a relationship that's ever happened on this show. Yeah, maybe she or in Jubal's life, really. That's I true. Mean... Yeah, very understanding of both of <laughs> you. All right. Well, at least keep us updated, Gabriella, on who you choose so we know, please. I will, for sure. And Kurt? Yeah, man. Good luck, man. And that poem, can I get a copy of that? Because I want to get that tattooed on my ankle. <laughs> A lot of texts in at 78592 about today's Awkward Tuesday phone call. Most of the people saying Gabriella, the woman from today's Awkward Tuesday phone call, should choose Kurt, the guy that she called, to be her boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. And then one text in at 78592 that says, I'm so glad I don't date anymore. They must have not really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> if you missed it. Seriously, though. Gabriella was torn because she's dating two dudes. One dude is like a fun guy. The other one is this more stable, kind of boring dude. And she wanted to call the boring dude and say, hey, we shouldn't see each other anymore because I think I'm going to date the other guy. And it's not fair to be dating, dating two people at once. And then when she got him on the phone, he was like, oh, I was pretty much just wanting to date you and I like you a lot and then he read her this poem that he wrote Aww. that he was going to read to her to ask her to be his girlfriend and yeah. uh, a lot of people thought it was really sweet it was really bad and uh. I don't think he meant for anybody else to hear it but her and unfortunately we did but it was so bad that it was darling yeah it's from the heart that's all that matters yeah he was darling mm -hmm. stability she, can be sexy people it really can yeah definitely she liked it and backtracked and now she's like i don't know i need more time to think and he was cool about it he's like okay just think about it and everybody else texting in 7592 says we should do an awkward tuesday phone call with the other dude and hear what that guy sounds oh, like oh yeah man. the part-time job bad boy <sighs> yeah i'd like to hear that yeah. remember if you want to do an awkward tuesday phone call just email the show we'll help you with your problem as long as you make a very awkward phone call in exchange move in 92.5